Yo guys, how's it going? We're back for another episode of our Master League with Wick and Wanderers, where today we've got two games against Stoke and against Derby. Uh, uh, quite difficult games, I'd say. Uh, Derby are 19th, I believe, and Stoke are current second. The tactics as well. So let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get anything out of this game. Let's get into it, boys. Let's see what we can do. And here we are for this first game against today's episode. Where we are at the best. That was there. a couple of players I do know from their squad. Uh, not doing very well <laughs> since they've got relegated from the Premier League. But we have a couple of our own uh, new starters in Wallace and the man on the right hand wing. Uh, that will be starting in this game today. And then obviously we have the main men in the centre. So <laughs> let's see what we can do in this game. Of extra points if we can. As you see their lineup now. Uh, pretty much most of their players I actually know of. Uh, part from uh, their right back, I think I know everyone else from. Uh, now you'll see, you see, I've had a little bit of a change round with the squad. Um, obviously, just a couple of different players in there, and then a little bit of a different formation as well. But let's see what we can do in this game. Let's see whether we can get anything out of it. Let's go. Now Rodwell to Balocchi and now into the centre if we can to Connolly. Uh, now Onye Dimmer has made a run into the box. We'll whip a shot. We'll put the ball one. That is decent football from the boys so far. It's dangerous coming forward. We've looked reassured-ish coming backwards. But uh, that shot just going wide at the post. Pretty much the same sort of shot he had in the last game. Okay, Matt, keep on that. That's it. Uh, quite nicely done so far Rodwell's tried to get out there it's not worked and uh, we've tried to head the ball to Rodwell but it's not worked again and that is a very good challenge there from the man himself Rodwell and now try and try it oh it's not really worked this time and they have if uh, Stuart can try oh, no he can't at all and that is 1-0 to Vokes Ah, well, we lasted 17 minutes. It's better than we normally do, but uh, against the way, pretty much uh, 17 minutes in. But even so, uh, the defensive side of the uh, team hasn't looked too bad. Like I say, even with that, that was mainly my fault. Probably the man Wallace there should have probably got in the way of that shot, to be honest. But even so, we haven't done too shabby, I don't think, so far. Um, and then had, obviously, a couple of other chances. But uh, a couple of other chances of our own, but not really too much at the moment. Let's see if we can get ourselves... And ball played along and win that head off from Wallace. Not quite. Let's play that. Come on. Let's get in there. Not in at all. Wallace, stay on you. And it's another shot, but this time it goes wide of the post. It's not really worked out for us. We have let Sam Vest through, and that is going to be a goal. That should be a goal. If it, that is somehow not a goal. I don't know how that has happened. And that is very Stewart getting the goal in the 18th. The only real uh, chance that they've had in this game, to be fair, they've had a, probably a couple of shots that have uh, worried me a little bit. But apart from that, defense, um, coming forward, we've not looked great. We've had a couple of chances. If we had a couple of players that had played a better pass, then we could have had a couple of decent chances. But unfortunately, hopefully we can... McDowell, try and get on your man. That is very nicely done. He's beaten McLean very easily this time. Now... Uh, forward and no one's really attacking us and it's Connolly who has a chance he smashed a shot and it is saved by the effort though there from Connolly and uh, the only man that really has and he's still coming forward right now and it's not really worked out but our right winger in his debut try past his man it's come out to McDowell again Rodwell to try and find Onye Dimmer turns his man takes the shot and it's not a very good one and uh, we've not got a lot of room there. So we'll play it outside to McDowell this time. And back inside to Lara. Play it off to Teixeira. Now to Onye Dimmer. If we can try and do something down this side. Teixeira has a bit of space on this one. And that is back on level terms. I think it's our right winger on his debut. Uh, yes, it is. On his debut for the club. Manages to get himself the goal. And bring us back to level terms. And a very good head off from him, Teixeira. And we are back <laughs> level with 10 minutes to go. And to be fair, I think we've played pretty well in this game. Defensively, we've looked stable. 
uh, attacking wise, we've not looked. And, um, yeah, we've looked quite good to be honest. I'm, I've been quite happy with the way I've uh, got this uh, tactics worked out, and it's into the back of the net. And that is the main thing that matters right now. Boom McDowell, and now we have a bit of space again with Teixeira, so we can try and find him. And we'll around the corner, we're in and through, but Lockie takes the shot, and it's wide of the post. Look at that for a piece of play. If that had worked out, imagine, imagine the scenes as we turn it around against Stoke to get a win. The team in second with this new... F should have probably took a touch. I think that's what's probably buggered me there. But I probably uh, should have took a touch. That end of the game, we have managed to get a draw out of the team that is currently in second. And I am very pleased with the way them tactics worked out. Defensively, we look very good, very stable. We look solid. For the first time, I, I, that is probably the first time I've actually looked solid defensively uh, in this game um with this uh team and attacking wise don't get me wrong we wasn't great when coming forward um and like i say the one goal we conceded was my fault because i did take my man off of votes to give him that space uh but as i was saying uh a little bit of a little bit of ting of it maybe just a little bit of uh more persistence with it to try and get myself used to the way it's feeling coming forward but apart from that, I am very happy with the way this team played today. And here you see, eight shots to four. We had more possession. Um, had 121 passes successful. Completed more than what they had attempted. And I think we all together. And man of the match went to Vokes, apparently. Fair enough, I'll get it. I wouldn't say that, to be honest. I reckon one of our probably deserved it. I don't, I wouldn't say, uh, you know what, I'll give it to anyone. I could individually pick out and say you were the man. Uh, obviously, our guy's got our goal to bring us back level, but I don't know who I'd, you know what, actually, I do know. Or to share, I'd give man of the match to. McDowell in preparation, which is, that is uncalled for, because he brought us forward so much in that game, and I was very happy with the way he played, and defensively, he was very good as well. And a wrap-up of match day 23 with another draw uh, has got us back uh, to another point. The rest of the games and the team we play next has just beat the team we have just drawn against. So, yeah. And right now, we have now dropped down to 16th after that game. Um, that is not great. And Derby County, the team we're going to play next, has moved up to 18th. And one... Other team that I want to is Stoke, who have dropped from second to fourth after that game. Okay, fair enough. Eight feet one point seven. So we can go ahead and sign him and bring him to reassure our defence. So let's go ahead and accept that. So that is another six hundred thousand took off of our weight uh, off of our budget Buy from Sheffield. He he is also on a loan and um and his transfer fee of 345000 as well. So let's go ahead and accept him. And that's a decent keeper we've brought in. Uh, unfortunately, them two players ain't going to come in before the end of this uh, game against uh, Derby. Against, uh, well, against at Pride Park, shall I say. Hopefully we can first three points in a while uh, in this game if we can. Obviously, they are currently two places behind us and currently sat on the Here we are. For this game, our second and final game against uh, Derby for today's episode at Pride Park. The second game away from home. Uh, let's hope we can try and put in a decent performance. Rune still playing for them at this point on this career, uh, which is unfortunate because we don't exactly need him uh, counter-attacking against us. But even so, we're going to get into this game and hopefully let's see what we can do. Let's get into it, boys. Let's go. So let's from this free kick put this through, whip that ball over the top, and that was banging. Dimmer, if you'd put that in the back of the net, that would have been. Ball gets whipped over the top from McDowell. It's into him, but unfortunately, he hits the shot sky, and it's that is poor because that's such a good play. Some space, but Lockie into the centre to Onye Dimmer. And that is past his man. He takes through us, found its way. It's trickled past the keeper. But I do not care because that has found the back of the net. We're 1-0 up for the first time in so long. Well, it feels like so long anyway. 
15 minutes into the game and he rolls the ball with some nice pl build up play there from us Balaki finds that pass inside he takes a touch and it's a it's not the greatest of shots uh, but it has made its way past him into the back of the net either way and we have got lucky but we have got lucky in the best way possible as we find the back of the net and it is 1-0 to the boys Oh, if the relief from that is unbelievable. Just getting that goal and getting ourselves in the lead is perfect. I am so happy. And we are back on the lead for once. Let's hope that this time we can actually keep the lead, though. Need to. <coughs> we'll play it back to Wallace there because it's nice football. That is beautiful football, in fact. Uh, that isn't the pass I want to so. Inside to Connolly. Now, Onye Demo back into Connolly. Take a shot, son. Oh, it's off the bar. And win that if you can. He has done so. Tate is going to go out for a corner. First attempt that was from Connolly. Bounces off the bar. Decent effort. And we try and take this second shot with Balocchi. I think that was. But it collected. Number seven isn't uh, Balocchi. No, it is Balocchi. Sorry. Now, uh, McDowell to whip this corner in. Out. Laura back out to McDowell though. And we can give it back to Balocchi here. Take a shot, son. And it's blocked again from the defender. This time it's going to go out for again. And now they can try and come forward in. And that was me and my defender out. But even so, we've managed to get back just in time. And McDowell's gone in for a challenge. It's not worked. Wallace has got to come out wide now. And it's played inside. Stewart's there. And we're back on one apiece. Back on level terms. It's Martin that gets the goal. Again, the, the goal is came from one of my mistakes. Um... I brought the man short. It's uh, it was a stupid idea, let's be honest. And they have managed to get themselves back on level terms. Ah, uh, like I say, uh, both of the defensive mistakes in these last couple of games have both came from me. This one, obviously, definitely from me. Um, and then the first one as well. In the last, uh, definitely from me as well. So, I haven't really got a lot to complain about, <laughs> apart from my playing of the game. Uh, I tried to get across with Stuart, it didn't work, and then he fripped. I don't know what happened there. All done better with that first save anyway, to not turn it into the player's path. But even so, and we can pass that off again to Teixeira, who can try and pace his way down this wing. Against Holmes, he beats his man. Uh, we can try and bring that forward on the demo. Uh, we'll play it back inside to Lara, who had some space then, but it's now Connolly again, and he takes the shot. It's just wide of the post, just before half time. If that had gone in the back of the net, it would have been beautiful. Quite find it. Uh, let's see if he was very close with that shot. To be honest, I don't know if he was. I think he might have been quite close, but not close enough, unfortunately. Half time has ended at one apiece. Uh, first goal uh, from us was very nice build up play. Second goal, which came from them, um, was like all ends up my mistake. We've done well defensively, I think, in this game. Attacking wise, we've looked threatening. We've definitely looked a lot more threatening than we did in the last game. And we actually look like we could possibly win this game. But possession wise, it's pretty even. So let's hope. In this second half, we can actually try and get ourselves forward a bit more. And we are in for the second half, and that was nicely done too, but right away on the attack. <laughs> and we'll just pull the ball backwards this time. We won't try and uh, force anything, as we have a bit of space in mind. Onye Dimmer has it, and we've lost the ball this time. Now, we'll try and close down the man. Not really worked out. Stewart to try and win the header. Again, hasn't really worked out. And that ball has been played beautifully over the top to Holmes. But if we can try and cut that off, it's not worked out at all. Come on, let's stop this from happening. Let's stop this. From, why have I, Why am I on Stuart? Why Stuart there? Uh, they have the first attempt of the second half. As they have a head off going well over the bar. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but I was locked to Stuart then. I don't know why it was locked. Uh, we've got the ball outside. We'll pass it inside to Connolly. Now on Ye Dimmer can find the ball out the back. If he can take the shot now, he has, but it's blocked by the defender. That is intercepted by us to share out down the wing to uh, whoever that is. Okay. And on Ye Dimmer to whip across in. That is beautiful football. How has that not ended up in the back of the net? That could have been his second goal for the club and somehow that hasn't ended up in the back of the net. Wow, that was good. That was perfect from us there. 
And we've managed to get the ball back again with Lara. And Onye Dimot inside. We have it shot again from that man. And it's, oh, that was Lara this time uh, who has took the shot. But this time it has ended up the keeper making the save. And look at this football. This is the kind of attacking play we need. But unfortunately this time it doesn't end up in the back of the net. Now, McDowell to whip this corner in. He's done some decent corners so far in this game. But uh, that man cannot head of the ball this time. Apparently, Lara. Again, trying new man. That is not what we need. That is not what we need at all. That is not what we need. Oh, my bar. We've got lucky with that. And now we can try and come forward again. Oh, that was life-threatening. But we've managed to get the ball clear. And for the last few minutes of that game, we were looking very shaky uh, defensively. Uh, away with it. Uh, we've managed to get... Oh, God damn it. Uh, we've managed to get ourselves another draw. This time, Onye Demar getting himself a goal. And that would have been such a good goal if that had uh, gone in the back of the net. But we had a couple of decent chances. We didn't really do a lot in the second half. They fully dominated the second half. Um, like I say, we, we looked good defensively until like the last few minutes of the game, really. Um, and like I say, this was the first goal, that well, the only goal that we had on the Adem. Not the greatest in the back of the net either way. And another draw has got us another point on the table, but it's not really good enough at this point. We need to start picking up these wins because it's not exactly working out for us. But uh, it's better than nothing. And as you see there, we had 51% to their 49 in the end of that half. They had 47 we have a couple. We had a couple of extra shots in that second half, but uh, they had a couple as well. Uh, they had the same on target that we did, and they ended up having more passes than we did. So did Allsop. I'm surprised that Allsop didn't get a uh, man of the match for that game. To be fair, because he probably kept us having a draw in that last few minutes of the game. And a wrap up of match day twenty four again with us, and then you can see the rest of the results there as well. After that game, we do remain in 16th as Derby drop back down to 19th. And obviously, um, at the top of the table is still Bournemouth. Um, but yeah, it's nine draws and eight losses at the end of this episode. Still a goal difference of one. Just need to pick up some more points. We need them extra, we need them extra two in these games at the minute. It's not really working out. We now have a off off for Onye Demo. Um, which we're going to go ahead and reject, of course. We don't want to get rid of that lad uh, at all. So we're going to go ahead and end negotiations on that. And also we have a offer for Char who I'm not exactly uh, behind getting rid of right now because if we have um, this new lad coming in as well, this new centre-back, we don't really need him at the club at the moment. Uh, obviously, we have Phillips. We have... Um, yeah, we have Phillips. We have, uh, what's his name as well? What's the other guy's name? We have Stewart. We have uh, Mengi, the guy we've also got on loan. And then we can have this guy as well. So, oh, and Wallace as well. So we don't really need him at the club at the minute. Might go ahead. And the final thing we're going to do with today's episode is go in for this guy and basically just bring him in. So he will probably play in the place of Lara for now. Um, it, place of Balocchi for now. Basically, then we have a decent player as a backup player is the main thing I'm thinking. Because if any of our players get injured or tired or out like that, we need that guy there just as a backup. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and accept them terms and go, yes. So that's 500,000 out of our kitty. And f uh, for those wondering, we've gone in for these two guys here in Gaitan. And this guy here in Kas Kasama, both attacking midfielders. Uh, that guy that we've just brought in will move back into the place where uh, Lara currently is. And this guy will then move into that pos position. So we'll have pretty much a 70 rated team. Apart from the right back, the left back and the... Oh, but we're not going to get rid of one year demo because he's goals in. Left back into Scherer and McDowell because they're playing really well at the moment. So we're going to leave that as it is for now. Uh, one last thing we're going to do is uh, alter the squad and then we'll end today's episode. So currently this is the side we have got playing for us. 
uh, we've obviously made them a couple more signings in keeper. So literally, it's uh, obviously we'll have that new guy coming, which he won't be there for the first game. Uh, of the next episode, but we'll have him uh, in place of uh, Balocchi, but he'll be playing where Lara is, so basically this is where the squad will be. It'll be like this, uh, but by the looks of it, these uh, Onye Dimmer in particular... Too bad, to be fair. He's not too bad. Them two ain't too bad. I'm just trying to get to Rodwell. Rodwell is... Banging on fitness, so it's looking a bit uh, knackered. But Lockie ain't looking great, and Onye Dimmer definitely isn't. So, might have to have a little bit of a change round for the next game. Uh, let's have a look if we can. 62, 65. Um, yeah, so let's go there. Out who to be no, we won't do that actually. I'll say play him there and then try and work out some after around it. Um, no, we'll leave that like that, I think, for now. Then uh, Laura can come off. Well, uh, off Barra can come in for this game. Um, I think. And then Balocchi can go out. And who can come in for him? Do we bring in Gate for him, maybe? Or Freeman? Let's go Freeman for Balocchi. And we'll bring Balocchi onto the bench. And that will give us a little bit of a fitter squad for the next game. Uh, we'll leave that as it is for now, though, as the two new guys are. This game of the next episode, which will be against Bristol City. And then the next game will be against uh, Brentford. So we've got them two teams in the next episode, uh, which currently Brent 20th and still are currently sat in 5th. So we've got a team that are well up the table and a team that are near us in the table, which is quite far down the table now. So uh, we can get some decent performances out of the team again. If you have enjoyed this episode, if you have, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. I get lost inside my thoughts and when I start to think Oh, the time, how close it starts to end up on the brink I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep I bleed I felt so